Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you this Timex Q with day and day complications and it is golden. <laughs> you know I have a soft spot in my heart for golden watches and this one looks amazing. I bought this watch from Poland via website called Vinted. I paid 50 euros for this watch and this watch was labeled as unwanted gift and it is in a perfect condition. Here in Europe, new... Yeah, let me get out of the car. Here in Europe, new, they cost somewhere around from uh, 112 euros all the way to 190 euros. So depending on the model and the color, it's, it's roughly 140 euros, which is quite a lot in my opinion for this kind of quality. So what is so bad about the quality? Well, the bracelet is the worst quality I have ever seen. Bezel is just a decoration and the movement inside is of the same quality as those ultra cheap watches from Aliexpress. <laughs> Let me show you. Bezel is clickless, bi-directional, but that is not a bad thing. Bad thing is that it doesn't stay in the place, it doesn't have enough friction. So every time you look at the watch, the bezel is gonna be in a different position. It is completely useless. I had many cases with very bad bracelets that pinch here, but this is next level bad. Never seen a bracelet as bad as this one. It is very painful. Lots of tiny links, lots of tiny gaps, and everything is sharp. It catches here like it is specifically designed to do so. Problem with the movement is the crown action and the complication. The problem with the crown is that it is rather fast and very sensitive. Because of that it is a little bit difficult to set it accurately where you want it and another problem is that when I press in the crown minute hand jumps sometimes half of a minute sometimes ju doesn't jump at all sometimes jumps almost full minute it's not a sign of a good quality The day complication makes me think that either I don't understand something or something is broken. But I watched several YouTube videos and read several forums and the only way how to change the day I found is that you have to advance in time. Look, if I advance the time, day changes, everything is fine. But if I try to change the day the usual way, you know, when the crown is in the first position, I can only change the date. But if I turn the crown backwards, nothing happens, just the date starts jumping, but the day doesn't flip. So only way how to change the day is to advance in time, which in my opinion is a little bit ridiculous, but maybe there is another way which I don't know. So if there is, please tell me in the comments. Well, those are all the bad things I found and they are rather major in my opinion uh, and at the price of around 140 euros it's it's a little bit questionable I'm afraid but you know I'm not here to give you financial advices so all I can tell you that I personally wouldn't pay that much money for this kind of watch. But it is not all just bad. For example, this watch has 50 meters of water resistance, which means it is not just splash proof. You can actually submerge this watch under water. <laughs> Loom is not as bad as I thought it's gonna be on this watch. Even though there is nothing impressive, but Loom is even and it is strong enough that sometimes it catches you off guard unexpected and that's fun.
but the most important good thing about this watch is that it is very beautiful, very lovely. I mean, it is beautiful to the point where I can easily see why so many people can simply ignore the lack of quality and rather steep price tag for such a lack of quality just because this watch is so beautiful and so lovely. The proportions are beautiful. I love everything in terms of the looks of this watch. I mean, the side profile is very interesting sandwich. I even like this black plastic behind uh, the bezel. It makes bezel look a lot slimmer. This acrylic dome crystal is actually very nice. And I do prefer having acrylic crystal on a black dial because fingerprints are not gonna be so visible. And because of bubbliness, it's gonna be very easy to polish out all the scratches, so no problems there. I love the lug design. It's so cool. It looks so iconic. It's really nice, really nice. And this bracelet, as bad as it is, it is still one of the best looking bracelets I have ever seen. I love the complexity of it, how complex, how how many tiny parts there are. It's 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 gorgeous. I think well, my personal opinion, this watch is very, very beautiful. But how does it look like on a black strap? Well, surprisingly good actually. I do like how this watch looks like on a black strap. I thought it's gonna look weird with this kind of lug design, but no. I actually like how this watch looks like on a black strap. Okay, it's time for the conclusions. Where this watch goes on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. Well, it's not very simple, is it? Uh, let's do it this way. If you ask me a question, would I recommend buying this watch? No, answer is no, I wouldn't recommend buying this watch. Now another question is, is it a good watch? Well. No, it is not a good watch. It has bad bezel, completely useless, just like, you know, like some kind of decoration. Bracelet is horrible. Movement inside is the same as one of those ultra cheap Aliexpress watches. It's technically a bad watch. So, which means it doesn't even go into not bad, sadly. You know, you see, just being beautiful and lovely is not enough. This watch should be at least half decent to get into not bad. That's why this watch goes into nope tier. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.